Okay, so let's talk about grades. We all have feelings about report cards. We don't like to get Fs. We do like to get As. <laughs> That's kind of natural. If you end up in college, you've learned how to do school, so you just want to do it, and you want to excel. So many of us are familiar with the 1,000-point system where all your grades for a semester have a certain number of points, and you can add them up and know your grade at the end of the semester. So if you make earn 836 points, you will have an 83.6% in the class, which is a B. Now, some of you will get confused with a weighted grade system, and that's what we have. So we have a weighted grade system, 40% of your grade are the quizzes, and 60% are the activity uploads and the Quincia check. Now, how does this work? Well, every item in that in that category so either quincia or the activities gets the same um, value so if you have five questions and get an 80 percent that counts very similarly to if you have 52 questions and get a 100 percent so they each weigh the same in that category so down here, we add this all up and we have an average for the activities of 84%. Now, where did that come from? Well, you know, it's low because of a couple of grades, this 33%, this 75%. Over here, we have five quizzes and this person has excelled at the quizzes. Look, 98%. So within that category, 98%. That seems great. Now, we remember that the activities are 60%, the quizzes are 40%. So the area where this person has the higher per grade, um, higher average, is actually the smaller percentage of the grade. So when you total it up, you take that 84 times 0.6, so we're basically treating it as if it's out of 100, and the 98 times 0.4, and we add we have an 89.6. Now that would round in our system to a 90%, um, a which would be a low A. So it would be an A minus. So that would be the grade here. So once again, if you wanted to see how we got there, um, there were a few grades over here in the activities that brought that entire thing down. So this helps you have a better understanding of how grades will be calculated in the class, not Every category is the same. So you'll have activities and you'll have quizzes. So do the math. <laughs> um, that's what you're going to need to do. Do the math to determine how your grade is going to work and to better understand everything and plan ahead. Have a great semester. I want you to be aware of this before we go. Bye.